Hi friends, welcome to a new segment I'm calling Burns My Biscuits. It's where I talk about what burns my biscuits. For example, earlier this week I was triggered and I've been trying really hard to not react over negatively initially when I am triggered. I try and step back and maybe breathe and think of a proper response and then react accordingly. But this week I was triggered in a way that I was quite unexpecting. So I posted what was assumingly, you know, a pretty powerful message by Greta Thunberg, the 16-year-old Swedish activist. And I would say that the video resonated with 97% of my Facebook friends. And it just so happened that one of those 3% decided to, I guess the term is troll, never used that term before, but one of them decided to troll me by saying that he didn't agree with her statement or that climate change was real, um, he didn't agree with that, um, and went on to spout a number of uh, you know, falsehoods that took me off guard. Because here in my Boulder bubble, both the social media that I consume and the community that I'm surrounded by, it's pretty much agreed that climate change is real, it's man-made, it's a fucking problem. Yes, the house is on fire and we should be panicking. And yet there are still people out there, apparently a lot of people out there, who just aren't on board with this idea. Most of the world is. A lot of people are. Because they should be. But not everyone. So in my bubble, that's really all I experience is people agreeing with me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a thing. We should drive less. We should eat less meat. Yada, yada, yada. Electric cars, which I'll get into later. So it was very sort of shocking for me to have, I suppose, my first encounter with a climate denier. And I'm like, facepalm was, of course, my initial reaction. Now, fortunately, I don't go on Facebook that often. And before I was able to respond, see and respond to this antagonistic post, uh, apparently folks already had my back. And you know what my favorite rebuttal is when people come at me with like, it's not real, just nerd power. Just give all of the book smarts there because you can't, you can't lose against nerds. So, no. Tail out of here. So, I was reading the comments and was honestly quite amused by the conversation that it had that it had sparked. And yet, I still could not help but feel that this guy was coming way out of the left field and that, yeah, he was an idiot, but I really didn't want to be like, you're an idiot, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no. Think of a reasonable, passive-aggressive response. And I did, and I posted it. All right. Went about my day. Well, apparently, people just kept, kept, kept adding onto this thread it was actually rather entertaining because I actually, I don't think I've ever posted something that engaging before. I post a lot of cool shit, so come on, guys. But anyway, I'm glad that it started this conversation because instead of initially getting angry and hopeless and be like, oh my God, the world is so fucked. There's so many people like this guy who are just idiots and don't believe. No, instead I'm like, okay, there's a lot of idiots out there like this guy who don't you know yet realize that no matter how many times they say, the sky is yellow, it's not going to change the fact that the sky is fucking blue. So, simple things like that. It just shows that education is really important. However, having said that, I'm also not going to waste my time with people who have their heads shoved so far up their asses that it's impossible for them to give a shit. Instead, I will focus my very precious resources of time and energy on helping people who want to join this movement, who want to embrace this crisis that we are facing and be a part of the solution. 
not the problem. And I want to touch on one specific set uh, thing that, that this man said. He's like, well, I still care about the planet. I pick up litter, and it's not like I throw bonfire. What would he say? Tires on my bonfires. That's great. Appreciate that. But there's a difference between caring for the planet and caring for the future of the planet. Just because you're picking up litter now, you're making it prettier for you. But what you're not considering is what this plan is going to look like for your children in 10, 15 years, for your grandchildren in 30 or 40 years. So I really think instead of people just saying, I care about the planet, they really need to start saying, I care about the future of this planet and then act accordingly. And in another episode, I will go into green technology, how green is it really for the earth? Uh, because oftentimes simple solutions aren't necessarily going to be the right solution. So we'll explore that in another episode. But I guess I'm, I'm curious, how do you deal with climate deniers? How do you deal with people who say, it's a scam, uh, Greta is a political puppet, um, there's all these are it's not proven yes you can pull resources literally out of everywhere this guy was pulling them out of uh, a blog post of a guy of a self-proclaimed scholar and uh, um, oh the New York Post so it's like be a little bit more cautious with your sources which is exactly why I didn't go slinging links at him because you know who's to say that mine are you know aren't liberal propaganda. The point is, you have to look around you. You have to form your own opinions, take in all of the information, and use your own head. It's not that hard. But I did have this really good idea. I had this really good idea. If I, when I'm really, really, really wealthy, I'm going to start a travel company. And it's going to be called Awareness Adventures. And I will pay people to go on trips all around the world. Exciting trips. To see firsthand the effects of the things that they doubt. So for example, you don't think climate change is real? Let's go on up to, um, to Alaska or to Canada and see some of the melting icebergs and the starving polar bears. Until you see something with your own eyes, you will not fully understand or grasp the problem. If you don't, th if you don't think that the refugees have a place in America, you know what? Let's go down to Guatemala. Let's go uh, to Syria, safely of course. Um, um, and the point is, until you see these scenarios, these situations with your own eyes, you're not going to truly understand the situations. And that's exactly the, the, the motto of until you walk in their shoes. And so when I'm wealthy, I'm going to have a travel company called Awareness Adventures, and that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to walk in their shoes, and you're going to see exactly what these people are going through, how they are being affected by climate change, how they're being affected by corruption, how they're being affected, how animals are being affected by poaching. There's a lot of people, oh, I'm hoping conservation. No. So, again, education and opening people's eyes is really important in getting people to truly understand these extremely important issues. So, uh, again, my question is, how do you deal with, uh, with, with naysayers? How do you deal with people who are just completely oblivious to the fact that, yes, this planet is both sinking and on fire at the same time, like that cruise ship analogy I came up with? So, share it in the comments. Would love to hear your thoughts. Ideally, this won't be another super antagonistic video. Again, I'm not, you know, trying to smush disagreement and, you know, arguments and conversation by no means. I just don't need people trolling and wasting their time and energy just to say, you're wrong and you're an idiot. No, you're wrong and you're an idiot. No, that's it. I, I, I don't have time for that shit. I have garbage to pick up and, you know, climate strike posters to make. Yeah. And 
bicycles to ride. Anyway, so appreciate you joining me for, you know what burns my biscuits? So I'll be doing these a little bit more often because I found that a lot of shit pisses me off. So shit pisses you off too. Go ahead and join me. We can vent together. Jers and I are going to be tuning. Oh yeah, this is Jers. I'm fully aware there is a giraffe behind me. We're good friends. So thanks for joining me. Vent anytime. If it burns your biscuits, take a deep breath, cool it off, and move on. Move on. Make the world a better place. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Thank you. Have a beautiful day, folks. Bye.